today's key ingredient is tofu. Tofu is high in vitamin, calcium and protein. It's a great health food. But when I was a small child, I didn't like it at all. I thought it's so soft, plain and almost tasteless. So today, I'm going to show you how to make this colourful and tasty tofu dish. First of all, let's chop the mushrooms. I bought shiitake mushrooms as it makes the dish more Japanese. But if you prefer other kinds of mushrooms, you can of course use them as well. When you're finished with the mushrooms, chop the green beans. And peel the carrot. Then chop them into pieces. Chop a red onion as well. Voila! Chopping job is done! Pop a half a sachet of dashi powder in the cup and add some hot water to it. Grate a small piece of ginger and add one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of mirin and one tablespoon of white wine. After you put two teaspoons of potato starch, mix up everything in the bowl. Now, pop all the chopped vegetables, mushrooms and dashi broth into the bowl. Nothing is difficult so far, is it? Well, my cooking skills limited, you already know that, but I guarantee the taste. It's gonna be really tasty. Here is my lazy trick again. Yes, the microwave! While we are heating up the ankake sauce, let's cut the tofu. I cut it in about 3 by 4 centimeters, as it looks good when it's up. Now, sauce is ready. Can you see the texture's changed? Pour the ankake sauce over the tofu. I like the sauce covering the tofu completely. It's never too much. This is tofu and kake. Thank you for watching. See you next time.